What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. Back out here on the water and I'm out in the old John boat again and I'm super excited because it is going to be a beautiful day. Actually, it is going to get up to 79 degrees today. 79 degrees. We have water temps right now of 58 degrees. Water temps are 58 and I believe they're going to be much higher in some of these pockets and I've actually ran down the lake there is a ton of debris floating in the lake. My buddy told me that this uh, particular lake actually came up four foot last week. So it's all kinds of floating logs and sticks and stuff in here. Could make the fishing a little bit tough. I know the lake that spills into this lake fished really tough yesterday. They had a tournament out there and uh, it was pretty tough from what I understand. But we're going to catch them today, doggone it. We're going to try to catch them flipping. We're going to try to catch them power fishing. We're going to go up in some creeks, see if we can catch some of those big females moving in, getting ready to spawn, and let's just see if we can catch a big old bag. So what we're going to do, we're going to weigh our best five. We're going to try to catch 15 pounds today. That is the goal, 15 pounds. We got to put our head down. We're going to have to fish hard. Let's see if we can make it happen. Let's get in this first creek. Let's see if we can catch a bag. way back into this creek right here some really good wood uh, some good lay downs on this particular shoreline and it's a good creek that bends back into the right so we're gonna start right here we're gonna work our way in and we are gonna start off flipping so we're gonna start off flipping and let's see if we can catch some big ones the water is fairly stained so the water's got a pretty decent stain to it so what we're gonna do we got our our spike it dipping glow right here, our spray, and we're gonna spray the legs of our mock crawl. So this is the green pumpkin with gold flake, gold and purple flake mock crawl right here. And it's a three and a half inch, I believe is what it is, three and a half inch. But we're gonna give our legs just a little bit of a chartreuse spray right there and some garlic flavor. Oh yeah, we're gonna see if we can get them today. See if we can get us a big bag. I got a feeling that the fish is either gonna be like super tough or it's gonna be really good. It's gonna be one or the other. I don't think it's gonna be no in between. We might have to grind out the bites. Might have to pick up some moving baits and throw some moving baits, but it is what it is. We're gonna fish hard and we're gonna get them. Is that a bite? That is a, that's a bite on my first flip. That is a bite on my first flip. Y'all check that out on that mock crawl. Just pulled up here, very first flip. Mock crawl right there, boom. It don't get no better than that. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay, I will take that. Y'all check that out. I don't even have this camera set up right. First flip with the mock crawl boom this might be a good day might be a good day i just flipped up there and that fish absolutely smoked it nice i popped it out a piece of wood and that fish thumped it all right i'll take that man this could be this could be really good. I popped it out. I was like, is that a bite? Like, <laughs> I won't 100% sure. Nice. I know this guy over here fishing is looking at me, talking. He's like, what is this idiot doing? Talking to himself. <laughs> but what we're on, we're on a, basically this is a transitional bank, a deeper bank going into this pocket right here. So it's 16.7 foot where we're sitting at right now and it's just it's a lot of really good wood right here i'm actually gonna change my graph over to a to a 2d but 
you know, these fish will get up here on this deeper bank and they'll sit right here to stage and then they'll push up in uh, into the pocket to spawn is what they'll do. Get up under there. But I've caught some big fish along the shoreline, but I'm just really hoping that these fish have made a push into the pocket because, man, you can catch some big ones if they've made that push. So let's hope that is what happened. If they're not in the creeks, we might just have to flip main lake stuff. And that's fine too. As long as we're getting bit, that's the main thing. We just got to figure out where we're getting bit and just stay in that zone. And throughout the day, you know, I think the fish are gonna, gonna be making that push into the pockets if they're not already in there. But right here, I have water temps of 59.1. And I mean, by the end of the day, they're gonna be up there 63, 64. They're gonna be pretty dang warm. All right, y'all, so we've worked our way all the way into the back of this pocket. So we're all the way in the back. Have not gotten another bite or have not gotten a single bite in this creek, I should say. So we're going to fish around the back. We're going to fish our way out. And then we're going to kind of, you know, maybe fish back to the mouth of this a little bit, that deeper stuff. Then we're going to make a decision and say, okay, they're not in the creeks. This is not the deal right now. They haven't made that push yet. And we're going to go out on the main lake and try to make it happen on some of the deeper stuff, the deeper points and different things like that. Because right now, you know, just with me not getting a bite in here, and I know there's fish in here. Like, I know there's fish in here. But sometimes when you get those fish pushing in, you know, right in the beginning, they got this kind of weird, funky attitude and they just do not want to bite. And that could be what's going on right now. And then a little bit later in the day, uh, the fish just really start chewing or it might be a couple days. You know, it, it's just, it's hard to say. It is supposed to cool down a little bit in the next week or so. You know, it's only supposed to be highs like in the low 50s. So, you know, the fish could just be holding back a little bit and just not up on the bank or just not chewing in the creeks yet. So we're not gonna give up on it quite yet, but hopefully we can get one, we can get a little confidence, we can figure out what's going on, and then we can make adjustments. But we just gotta you know, get bit first mainly is what we gotta do uh, in a creek. But definitely got bit on the main lake very fast. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna not chase that and just chase the bite I want uh, because the bite I want might bite, you know, might not be the one that's that's going on. So I'm gonna keep flipping and see if we get bit. And if we don't, we're gonna make a move. Oh my god, there's a big bass right here in front of me. Can y'all see that? I am not even playing. There was a four-pounder literally right there i i don't know if y'all could see that or not that was crazy he's out here over 13 foot of water literally just sitting oh my god that was crazy i threw my bait in front of him and he just swam off well that was wild so maybe these fish are up in the water column and that's why they're not biting my Texas rig on the bottom. Hmm. That's interesting. That's like very interesting, actually. That was wild. I mean, just out here like on nothing. It was just literally swimming. Pretty dang crazy.
Here's a fish. Got that one. There we go. Off this point. On the crawl. I knew there should be one on this point. Got one. On that mock crawl, finally. Right here on this drop off. Dang, we had fished for like an hour and a half, at least an hour and a half. That dude there is about a pound and a half. Not even gonna put him on the scale because we're going for 15 pounds, but that is a bite. Thank you, buddy. On that mock crawl, I came up and that was swimming out and I was like, yeah, that is a, that is a bite, undoubtedly. So, cool, man, I tell you what. It has been a while, y'all. I mean, I was starting to doubt everything. I've thrown the spinnerbait, threw the spinnerbait along this whole left shoreline right here. And I decided to pick the crawl back up right here on this point. So we might just have to hit deeper main lake points with the crawl. I'm not 100% sure, but we got us one at least. I mean, he was just right off the end of this point. Not really not really anything here i mean other than they can spawn this is a good like spawning flat even though it's on the main lake i don't know if y'all can see i can see it with my polarized glasses but they can pull right up on this flat and spawn it's like a really good little flat that comes off the bank just a little ways and then it drops off Hey, main lake point. I mean, that other fish I caught was kind of relating to a main lake point, main lake point as well. All right, so this does look like a fairly shallow little cut right here. And this sun is shining on it like crazy. And I just caught that fish right there on that point. So we are gonna throw the spinner bait up there work our way down it with the spinner bait just a little bit see if we can get one kind of right on this transitional edge that wants to bite because i mean this spot is warming up quick got this one on the spinner bait that fish smoked it up here on this flat. Get up here. Ooh. Spinnerbait bite. Oh my God, he's going crazy. Chill out, bud. That's one that'll put a fin in your hand. Here we go. On the spinnerbait, my back camera just shut off, so. Got him though. Thank you. Another one, maybe a pound and a half, pound and a half-ish. But up on this flat right here, that's what I was wondering if some of these fish have pushed up on this flat. Might just have to do just a combination of uh, multiple different baits and kind of put things together to put them in the box, put them in the boat. We're not putting them in the box today, but I mean, that fish smacked it when he bit it. God, I mean, the water temp right here is 63.2. 63.2 i think we're just gonna basically jump around and hit main lake points and hit flats that have the sun shining on them that are warming up really quick because that fish was up there and pretty uh pretty shallow water maybe four ish foot maybe somewhere in there four foot Another small guy, but they are cranking that spinnerbait up here on the flat. There you go. Thank you, bud. I mean, no weight, but fish. And I'm gonna show y'all something. We're coming up on a really good spawning flat right here. This point right here. 
I don't know if y'all can see how shallow it is, but these fish. All right, well, hopefully my back camera was recording because I just missed that last fish catch that I did. It was only a, it was only a small one, but I did uh, definitely not have my chesty on, which is a bummer because the last one I caught or the one before, only my chesty was on and my back one had turned off. But it's all kind of fun stuff happens when you're trying to film for YouTube. You got cameras that cut off and don't want to work and throw card errors and all kinds of cool stuff. But I'll just ease up here on this point to see if we could see one up here. I don't see anything yet, but I tell you what, Probably gonna be one soon. Probably gonna be one real soon. We might fish right here to this very, very edge and then we're gonna fire up and I got a, another spot with a flat that I wanna hit that the sun is baking in. I know it's shining really good. It is a pocket, but, or the mouth of a pocket. So we're gonna see if we can get bit in there and if not, we'll make a, make a decision. Ooh, spot the log. So, hey, we've caught four fish now for about maybe five and a half pounds, maybe. But, hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. And something else too, if y'all are interested in getting some new straps for y'all's boats, some rod tie downs, I make these. I have a company called GF Outdoors and I don't talk about them that, that much, but I have a discount code down below along with a link to my website. And these are the 15 inch rod tie downs. I have them in a ton of different colors. So if your boat needs some, be sure to grab them. Be sure to head over to the website and grab them. They're super, super like high quality. I make them myself and i guarantee you they're as good as it gets so anyway we're going to go ahead and move to the next spot and see if we can catch a giant next spot and this is a really good flat right here that leads into a pocket and i was going to start a little bit closer to the pocket but i ended up um stopping out a little bit further we're going to get a sip of our gatorade and we're going to work our way in all righty so let's get up here See if we can make something happen on the old spinner bait. Oh, trying to get hung up on me. And I tell you something that I'm going to do too. Oh my goodness, I don't know what in the world just happened there. I see what happened. Got up down the top of my reel, but we're going to spray this with a little bit of uh, crawl go juice. Some old stank. So we're gonna go right up here. Got a little bit of wood. And I think what these fish are doing is you have all these areas where they can spawn, where they can push up because you have this, uh, this really good, you know, bank that comes off for the fish to push up on and it drops off into pretty good, pretty good depth. I mean, we're sitting in 10 foot right here. So I think these fish are just sitting out right off the edge waiting to push up. And I think that's what we had going on at the other spot. So we're going to see if we can kind of duplicate it right here. And if not, we'll, we'll mix it up and change things up. But I think these guys that were coming up wanted to come to this spot that I just did. But I still got my eyes open up on the bank to see if I see a fish up on the bed. Because I'm telling you. It's probably going to be a fish on a bed before the end of the day. 
with these water temps 63.3 right here undoubtedly the water temps are dropping slightly as we work our way back into this pocket but i'm thinking that this back flat might be super warm and there might be some fish on it not 100 percent sure we're gonna find out though and if not we're gonna haul tail out of here we're gonna get out of here in a hurry but this is just a really good flat back here and i just did not want to bypass it not check it A lot of water spilling into the back of this pocket right here. I didn't think it would be much coming in, but it is. But there ought to be some fish up there. There's one. There's one. Get in here a little bit better one there oh buddy all right so i believe my back camera had cut off yes it has we're gonna cut that back on but there we go we just caught that one we're gonna weigh this one for our first fish and we're gonna see what this one this one weighs. I'm going to make sure this camera's on because definitely been having some difficulty today, but we're good. So this one is 2, 2.64. All right, 2.64. Nice fish right there on the spinner rate. Thank you, bud. I mean, that is our fifth fish. So that is number five. He was right up here on this little grass patch right here. Nice. All right, so right now it is 12.59. So we've been fishing uh, for, eesh, I don't know how long. Good little bit. Good little bit. At least three hours. At least three hours. So, but that was a male. Just in here peeing everywhere. Just pushing up, ready to spawn. And it won't be long. It will not be long. But that is the first halfway solid fish that we have caught. And he was in the back of a pocket. I like it. Definitely hope I get one back here with this water's coming in. I know there's got to be some fish around that. All right, I'll take it. I will take it. We're gonna make our way out of here and see if we can catch a big one. All right, y'all, last flip of the day right there dang we fished our butts off we only got five fish biggest one two and three quarter just not a big fish at all but i mean hey two flipping three on the spinner bait literally we're gonna throw one more cast but literally did not get a single a single another bite like not another one it just I don't know so weird so weird so i mean if i could have just got some bites and really dialed things in a little bit better maybe we could have done a little better but hey i'll take what i was given 
and it's all good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I mean, we did get a limit. We did get a limit, so. Spinnerbait, once again, moving baits basically did it for us other than the two on the mock crawl. But like I said, that mock crawl is a game changer. So be sure to check the link in the description. Use that link to go buy you some of the new mock saw plastics. When you do that, you help support the channel. You help support the channel. So I appreciate it. And we're going to go ahead and get this thing on the trailer. And I'll see y'all next time on Gunfish TV.